What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Jim Leader Geo, and this is episode 18 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We are uh, at the Battle... The Battle Royale Dome, or some mess of words like that. And we're gonna kind of see what's see what's going on in this area we see up top is the flag if we look at the little mini map uh, bottom left of the screen we see the flag above us so that's where we need to go so before we do that let's see if there's anyone around here that oh no something like just gonna generally give this area a little scope to see if there's anything talking about captain malo the malo special it's a taste explosion in her mouth inappropriate let's keep looking uh, there was a rare candy in the side over here I didn't even need to sniff that I just I'll, I'll let you guys know whenever I see a little nook like this uh, I played enough video games in my time that I know th there's no reason to have little nooks there if there's a little nook there's something going on there or they're trying to hide that there's something going on there uh, this is a uh, Malasada shop. I don't really know what the purpose of these are. Uh, I'm sure that there's something, a big Malasada. I, I think they're happiness. That increases happiness. Uh, I think they've got acquired tastes. Lacks nature, so like sour Oh, okay, so in the past we've always had those game... Those, oh, his focus is amazing, but he's just asleep. That's kind of funny. In the past, you've always been able to check your summary of Pokemon, and it'd be like, oh, this is a jolly nature. He likes his food sweet, and that didn't really mean anything. But I guess in this game, if you're trying to make them happier, you feed them Malasada. Uh, if you want to stop evolving. Yeah, if you guys didn't know that one already, if you want a Pokemon to stop evolving, then, uh... Ooh, something shiny. That's a cell. One of those cells, right? If you want a Pokemon to stop evolving, hit B when it's on the evolution screen. I'm sure most people knew that, but always a good idea to share information. Uh, I think we talked to those guys already. I don't super remember. There's an item up here. They keep doing this. I can't do it on my Tauros, so I have to get off and navigate. Maybe that's their way of hiding items. If you're just always riding around on your mount and you're not, you're not really paying attention, then you might not you might miss something. Who knows? Aha! Gladian. Every time something brings me down, I end up coming right back here again. Come on, no. Let's go bury our sorrow in the crowd. Wow. So maybe he's not as much of a goth as we thought, instead of wanting to be by himself. My circuits are all lit up. It's electrifying. Let's live it up in the Battle Royale Dome. The holy ground for Battle Royale enthusiasts. Uh... There's so a lot going on. This is a big area, but uh, kind of unnecessarily. Look, these are the... Uh, <laughs> I have the ability Guts. Attack goes up when they're stuck with a bad status condition. Take like the bad can make you stronger. They're, those are the Team Skull guys. And we've got a little road up here leading to where? Route 7. So, um, uh, it's too early for us to go there. There's some things I want to do back here. I want to see what's going on with this Battle Royale dome. Uh, the Deli Bird says Quirr. Uh, oh, QR. That's clever. You can see the QR code for any Pokemon you've caught in the Pokedex, you know. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, the Thrifty Mega Mart, where the sales are explosive, here, have a special discount coupon. It can only be used at our store. Discount coupon eagerly. Just show that discount coupon to the checkout staff when they're rigging you up at the register. Our store pursues value over all else. Discount coupons are right up our alley. Now, please, shop till you drop, or at least until you're completely out of savings. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, okay. People come here by snacks to tie them over while they watch the matches in the Battle Royale Dome. You're a trial goer. Look at my Pokemon. Foon. Oh, he knew about... Oh, cool. My Drifloon is so strong that he can just drift along without ever having to worry. So, 
Uh, that's the one we saved, I guess. Or, or, yeah. The original Thrifty Mega Mart was actually on another island, but it got moved here. Okay. Uh, these are all just people talking about money and buying things, but we did get a lemonade from that little guy. That's a small little cat Pokemon. That thing's cute. It says, Grr. He's a cute little Pokemon. I want that. Uh, my phone is not on mute and is blowing up. Um, I'm going to have to check that out later, though. I can't, <laughs> I can't be one thing at a time. we got a drowsy. Uh, I'm going to give this uh, Hypno some money. Wowzers, you're really giving me this? It looks it looked like a hypno, but it's actually a person wearing a Pokemon costume. Look at you, big spender. I figured someone might only give money if I pretend to be a Pokemon, but I had no luck until now, that is. You're the first big donor I've had. A shining example of humanity. I'm so touched. I've got something to pay you back with. Here, take this. He gave me a, a TM. Rest. So now I can rest talk if I want to, because I got the sleep talk TM earlier. Good move for hypno, right? Blah, blah, blah. Now I have to get back to work. I can't get anything if my cover is blown, so... Talk to me no more either. How's it? Alola. Free samples. Tomato berries. Straight from the Kanto region. Sweet. There's just a lot of food items. I, I'm kind of curious. I haven't even really seen what I can buy in this area. It's just a bunch of stuff on the sh... None of it is actually something I can buy. Just... Everyone's saying that things are cheap, and like, I believe you, but... What's the purpose of this shop? What's the purpose of this entire area? That's what I'm kind of getting at here. Oh, here we go. I can talk to this guy to buy stuff. Okay. Uh, Pokeballs. Very normal priced Pokeballs. Looks like I have a decent number of the ones that I need. Uh, how about you? You sell something different? None of this seems particularly unique. I'm sure this shop opens up a little bit later. A strange souvenir. An ornament depicting a mysterious Pokemon that has been venerated as a guardian deity for an extremely long time. I don't know what the purpose of this is, but it's if it's a special item... Oh, you have a discount coupon. It takes 1500 off. You can reuse your discount coupon as many times as you'd like until you leave the shop. So I hope you use it again. That's good to know. Maybe I should buy some stuff while I'm here. I don't really need potions. I don't really need anything here except repels. I use a lot of repels. I would love some super repels, but, um... Oh, you have a discount coupon. 5,000 off. Boom. Easy. <laughs> Easy. I forgot what he said. What do you want to say? Welcome. When I'm the strongest trainer in the entire Alola region, why don't I talk to him again? So that's a key. That's a key figure. Let's add that to the key figures list. That we're taking the thrifty mega mart battle royale dome um special shop i'm guessing i don't know special shop when you are champion i guess i don't know well we'll have to we'll have to revisit that if i remember after the final episode or something we'll have to see so that's that's the shop. And I think that's pretty much everything. Um, unless this guy has anything to give to me. Or this girl has anything to give to me. Uh, no. Okay, let's go into the Battle Royale Dome. Got a black belt here. Some dude. Uh, Gideon right there. But if we step up front, we're going to get tossed around. 
So is it just a four? Oh, is it FFA battles? Did they invent FFA battle type for this? Glad you could make it. Someone yells. And we've got uh, El El Macho Libre over here. I'm here today, yeah, to spread the word. Oh yeah, about battle royale. They call me the masked royal. Ooh, I prefer it when you're Lou. Wait, is that the professor? <laughs> He does say woo. The Masked Royale. <laughs> I'm here to teach you, oh yeah, about the battle format passed down in Alola for generations. The Pokemon Battle Royale. But Royale? What's Battle Royale, you might ask? Four trainers. Four trainers, yeah. Each pick three Pokemon, yeah. For one big Pokemon battle, oh yeah. When one trainer's team can't battle anymore, the Battle Royale ends. Which at whichever trainer has taken out the most Pokemon and has the most Pokemon left will emerge the winner. Interesting. So it's not last man standing. It's game over when one person's out. Dude, it's the Masked Royale. I want to battle. I want to battle. Oh, and then Gideon. You there. Come join the fun. In the mix. Two, yeah. Now we'll have our foursome. Ooh. He, he doesn't like it. Discovery. New experiences. Adventure. It's all yours if you want it. This is getting really... This could be kind of sexual. <laughs> it's time for a battle royale. Ready, fight. Let's go. Let's go. Type null is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to take that guy out. We're in the Battle Royale Dome, the arena for Battle Royales. The dome is packed and filled with excitement. Now here come the contenders. In the green corner, <laughs> Trumbeak. We got Toracat, Heathcliff. We got Rockruff. God, that's so the professor. And we've got Type Null. Okay, what do we know? We know Rock Rough is Rock Type. Rock Rough is Rock Type. Type Null is No Type. Do I have spread moves? I don't have spread moves. I'm at full HP, so I can't roost away my weakness to Rock. Toracat. Uh, Rockruff is actually super effective against quite a few of these guys, so I think I'm going to lead off by attacking type Null. Rockruff is going to protect to kind of scout the match. I don't think he needed to do that because he's the he's the offensive pressure in this game right now. Type Null is kind of beast though. Oh, we're seeing Z move. Who's he going for though? Normal type, Breakneck Blitz. Who's it targeted? Who's the target? Rockruff. Through the Protect. He protected himself so he f couldn't fully get hurt. That's good to know. Uh, and I just get headbutted. Uh, let's see. I'm going to roost this turn... I'm going to roost this turn. I I'm getting targeted by by type Null, and I want to make sure that if Rockruff's going to opt to go for a, a rock throw or something like that, I want to remove my weakness to it. Torcat's going for Lick on Rockruff. So those two... Null's going for Pursuit on Rockruff. Rockruff kind of got really targeted there, but he does go for the rock throw, but on Torcat, not on me. So... We could take out Rockruff here. I'm back up at full health. Everyone else is kind of weakened, at least a little bit. I could probably take out Rockruff with the Brick Break, but I don't think that nets me any kind of advantage. Uh, I think I need to... I really want to take out Type Null. Or at the very least, weaken it a little bit. We know Rockruff has Protect again, so he does pop the Protect here. No point in me dropping that against it here. Uh, Firefang on me this time. 
and tackle on once again on me. So I'm gonna have to roost again here. I got double targeted that last round. And this will once again, uh, we've seen rock throw from Torcat going for Fire Fang again on me. And tackle this time on Toracat, thankfully. And bite, if that's on me, no, it's on Toracat. Toracat might go down. It's a crit, so Toracat does go down. So that's round over. The battle is over. So who won? It's easy to have fun, a fun time with a battle royal. You have never shot at beating real tough opponents this way. You were on fire during that battle. I hope you bring that fire with you and burn up my trial. Who's this? New captain? Kiawe, the fire captain. You can go to Wella Volcano Park on Route 7. So that route that we saw earlier. So we are going the correct way. We know this. We're going through the game correctly. He's going to be waiting on the peak. If you plan to see the island challenge through to the end, climb to the top with your strongest team. Or, you know, whatever team you want. How are your trials going? I hope you and your Pokemon are working hard and having a blast. Woo. But, Mr. Mash Royal, how would you even know what we're doing in our trials right now? Oh, I get it. Because of our amulets, huh? Well, I'm having a blast. But why are you here? Why would you even want to do a battle royal? Ooh, Gladian. Oh, man. Oh, he's so, he's so emo. <laughs> because Null and I have to make it on our own. And I don't ever want to forget that. Hmm. <laughs> wow, you're just a ray of sunshine, huh? I love you, How. You're the best. I think you'd have a lot more fun if you just let yourself have a good time with everybody else. You can do a lot more together, too. Well, I don't know what his deal is, but I thought that battle was just plain fun. And that's why I like doing battle royales, and my Pokemon seem to like them, too. How you lost. Seems like Volcano Park, Route 7. Careful you don't end up in hot water, pal. So, what's going on over here? So, hi, welcome. So, you do get BP here. This is one of the areas to get BP, and they sell a majority of the um, of the important competitive items here. Icy Rock, uh, Duration of Hail, good. Sunny Day, Sandstorm, Rain Dense, uh, reduces the weight, and Binding Band increases the power of binding moves. Interesting. Okay, so generic competitive items. I'm going to look for a few more. Oh, wait, no. Uh, this is about registering for the battle. I don't I don't want to do that right now. This is kind of a... This is more of a post-gamey thing. And I don't really want to get too involved in it at the moment. Uh, but we've got more BP trade-ins here. And this is the power items uh, and an Everstone. So important for breeding. Important for breeding purposes, although uh, I'm not really going to get into that right now either, so I don't really need any of those. And then these are your ability capsule and vitamins. So, good. No TMs in here, unless we got any at the top floor. Uh, you. Um, granny. Okay. Looks like we got them all. <laughs> Looks like we're done here. So, fun introduction to Royale Avenue and the important post-game content that can come from that. I didn't see any TMs there. We're going to head back this way and finish up uh, the bottom corner of Hia Hia City, which we didn't see all of earlier. Uh, this guy is still looking for items. So this is the same Stoutland gentleman who was blocking me earlier. So, um... Just got some people on the side of the road here. What is this? This is Dimensions Research Lab. Oh, and a, a Zygarde cube. Dimensions Research... Oh, speaking of Zygarde, I'm assuming this has something to do with Zygarde because we had a, a cube there. 
they want me to go upstairs. You're going to the Dimensional Research Lab, aren't you? You're out of luck. If you want the professor, you just missed her. Try again another time. So, we can't come we can't come in here yet. This will be an important location later on in the game. Presumably, they'll take us back here. So, that's good to know. Three captains, water, fire, and grass. Uh, grass being probably mallow. So, let's see. What have we here? Spick and span, I win. Cleaning's like a game, you know? Very cool. What's going on up here? Chances of encountering a shiny Pokemon are 4,000 to 1. Hmm. It's a fun little place. You're a player. Been making games here. What color would you choose? Uh, I chose Pokemon Blue. I didn't have access to green, and I did get yellow also, but blue. I'd say you're probably the type that does what you want, even if it's not the popular thing. I don't like that you're trying to tell me who I am as a person based on a question like that. He needs vitamins. He's going to give me one too. Carbos? Lemonade? That's not vitamins. That's sugar water. Delicious sugar water, but... Oh, hold on. So this is a, this is another one of those guys that says, are you doing something when you've completed it? Come on back. Don't forget about me here. Okay, okay. so that guy earlier, maybe he wasn't saying when I was champion. Maybe he was saying... So this is the, uh, whatever this is, like a multi-story building in here, here. Return when trials complete. Is he saying just for this island? Yeah, okay, so when I've completed the island challenges, I need to go back to those guys. Clefairy is the, com is the cutest. She just wants to hug it. He wants to hug it. Um, Chow, he just finished an awesome song. And you, give me something. He's the game director. Pretty fun to fill up the Pokedex. When you've made some progress, don't forget to come and show it to me. So, and this guy, this looks to be a bookend shaped like a Pokeball. Very cool. So this is the game freak. Right? Yeah. In all caps, as is a hark back to Gen 1 days. We're on the third floor here. Aether Foundation and an emergency exit. That's good that they're depicting the emergency exits. Everyone here is just in white. Those Team Skull buffoons, they hurt Pokemon as if it's for fun or something. I wonder if we should also fight to stop the evil actions of Team Skull. Who are you? We work to protect Pokemon that have been hurt. Little polywirl there. More fresh water still. Your HP has to be fully recovered by now. That's cute. That's really cute. What do you think makes Pokemon happy? What is happiness? For me, it's enough fun that I can go eat and have fun with friends together. So, great. Um, that was useless. It's cool to see that there's, you know, extra stuff in this game. Little hidden gems. But in the Game Freak office... Of this building. What's this building called? Did they say... Was there a sign outside? Or did I just kind of... No? Okay. So, well, let's just write this down. This is the Game Freak building. Game Freak building. Second floor. Uh, which is in Hia Hia City. Return here when your trials are complete. I think that's everything. And then there was just this cavernous area down here. Uh, which is called Diglett's Tunnel. So we already have a Diglett. Uh, he caused us to lose our battle against Stevie Z. What level are the Pokemon in here? Is this a place I should have been earlier? Let's just check it out. Let's check out Diglett's Tunnel. Level 22? Wow. Uh, I should not be here yet. Okay, so we just got out of a battle with a Zubat. Uh, we see that it's level 22. I'm feeling like it's we're not supposed to be in here yet. So let's just come back. I I'm sure we would be fine. I'm sure we could navigate it. But part of me is thinking that we're not supposed to be there yet. And so why go there? Why why rush the game through? Why go to places we're not supposed to be? 
I'm sure the game will naturally guide us in that direction when it wants us to go there. Uh, maybe there were new Pokemon in there, but it's called Diglett Tunnel. I'm assuming there's Diglets, and uh, we saw a Zubat, so I'm assuming there's Zubats. So maybe there's more. We can always come back later, guys. It's not it's not the end of the world. I'm not avoiding it forever and always. We uh, Wheela Volcano Park, designated trial site for the Island Challenge. Let's talk to this gentleman. You're missing out if you don't ever see Captain Kiawe's dancing. Now go on up to the volcano. Which way is the volcano? Uh, this is Dividing Peak Tunnel, but we are gated. Uh, we can't go that way until we've passed the trial. So I think they're kind of inching us in the right direction here. So how long has this episode been? 26 minutes? Let's end the episode here, and we'll move on to the next episode where we take on Wayla Volcano Park. So as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.